Good morning. We are going to Hawaii today. We have a 10 hour flight, a very early flight, so we have to start making our way to the airport. I hope you guys are ready for a fun day because I am. Let's go do this. We have made it here to the airport. Aloha, Orlando. We are flying on Hawaiian Airlines nonstop to Hawaii. About to go through security, but I wanted to point out the magic of Disney Store. It's currently closed because we're here so early. I wanted to point out there is a hotel located here inside of the terminal, but as of last night, all of the rooms were booked up, so I didn't really have that option. So we stayed about five minutes away but all right, let's get this party started. We have made it to our gate so far. Everything this morning has went very well, very smooth. We're just both very excited. One of the biggest reasons why we decided to fly with Hawaiian Airlines is because they just make the process super easy. They pre-clear you here at your gate inside of the terminal. So once we land in Honolulu, we get to bypass that super long line to get clearance because Hawaiian Airlines already took care of us. We have wristbands. We're all set. Here we go, hopping on the plane. I have to touch it for good luck. Here's our seats for this 10 hour flight. We did upgrade to extra comfort. So we have extra leg room. There's some outlets, USB ports. They already gave us some blankets and they're playing Hawaiian music. I love this. And we have a TV. Look at that. So they gave us hand sanitizing wipes to obviously wipe down our hands, but also the seats. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> of course. We both have some TVs for in-flight entertainment. That's very nice. And some trays, they come up out of here. Pretty neat. When the seatbelt sign is not illuminated, you can leave your seat if necessary. When you return, please pass your seatbelt. We made it to Honolulu. We did it. That 10 hour flight wasn't too bad. It was rough at times. I watched four movies, all this time planning and dreaming, and we're here. Since we already got our wristbands and did the pre-check, we get to bypass this line. It's pretty long, so we get to bypass all of this, go pick up our bags, and head to Alani. <laughs> I like here at this airport, you get to walk outside and get some fresh air. That's different. I like that a lot. Alani called me just to make sure we made it okay. I see 
our awesome cast member waiting for us right over here to take us to the resort because we got our pre-clearance with Hawaiian Airlines in the state of Hawaii, we got to bypass everything. I mean everything. There was a pretty long line and we got to bypass all of that. So keep that in mind if you're coming here this summer before they do like passport vaccine cards or whatever they're gonna call it. Just do it beforehand. That way once you arrive, you're gonna be tired. Just skip all that and just go right to your hotel. Okay, we just picked up our bags and we made it to the Mercedes shuttle. That's taking us to Alani. We're here. We are here. From the airport to here at the resort and only took 25 minutes. We are currently checking in and look what we got. Aloha from Alani. That is awesome. All right, we are staying in room number 636. Look at the door. I can already tell you guys, I'm in love with this room. As soon as you walk in, you can find your bathroom. So beautiful. I like the backsplash in the shower. Also a very deep bathtub. Ooh and a rain shower head. I love those. And then over here, you can find the classic Disney Resorts H2O soap. Ooh, and a facial soap. Then you have some privacy, which I love. I love the artwork already. Oh yeah, that's a hidden Mickey right there. Here's the toilet. There's also a joining room. You have a full length mirror and then your closet you have a extra pillow and a blanket ironing board iron hangers a safe some towels there's also a emergency light just in case next up moving into the bedroom look at this king size bed i love it i love it i love it and I like how you can put your luggage under the bed for extra storage. And then over here, you have a Keurig to make your coffee in the morning with some Alani cups, an ice bucket. Ooh, what's this? Oh, no way. They left us something. What? We will definitely get to that in a minute. Here's your TV, very nice. Your remote, your dresser. And then you can find a mini refrigerator. Pretty good size. I must say, one of my favorite things about this room is all of the artwork around. I really like this one. That one is pretty awesome. And then you have your couch, and this does pull out into a pull-out bed. As we see here, that's a plus. You have a phone a clock with USB ports, and then you have a table with two chairs. I also really like this Mickey lamp. That is so cool. This is a huge plus. They have a ceiling fan in the room. And here we are outside on the balcony. You have two chairs and a table, but this view is priceless. We have a, I believe it's called a partial ocean view with a garden view because you get the gardens right here with the lazy river. The main lobby is here. That is the female side and we're actually staying on the male side because that is how the two different towers are split up, which I found pretty awesome and very unique. And the ocean is right here. I mean, look at that. This view is incredible. This was worth the price just on its own. Oh, they have a koi pond. Those are massive koi. I can see them from here. Yeah, this is great. Oh my goodness. So I was filming that room tour and we heard a knock at our door and look what Alani brought to us. A very nice letter, a pair of Minnie Mouse ears for Bianca. Ooh, with the Mickey shave ice on there and a pair for me. I love this. They're very tropical. Thank you so much, Alani. That was so nice of you. This card is really nice. It's from a Disney ambassador. Aloha, Devin and Bianca. Congratulations on your engagement. It is great to have you home at Alani, a Disney resort and spa. Adventure awaits. 
That's so nice. Thank you so much, Alyssa. She is the Alani ambassador. Wow. I was not expecting this at all. We have a lot of goodies in here. Check out these really cute Mickey Hawaiian cookies. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what most of this stuff is because I've never had any of this, but everything looks super delicious. We have a sweet and salty snack mix. That looks good. And some macadamia nut shortbread. Dang, that's awesome. Like, this is a tropical paradise. I'm already in love with the room and the resort. And the crazy thing is, we haven't even explored the resort just yet. But we're both showered. We both feel refreshed after that 10 hour flight because of the time difference. It's a six hour time difference from Orlando to here. So yeah, it's just a lot of adjusting that we have to do. So I decided just because it's our first time here and I wanna enjoy this with my fiance, I think I'm just gonna put the camera down for a few hours and just take it all in, learn a little bit more about this resort, and then the fun shall begin. A few hours later, I made it back downstairs. We went to Off the Hook. We had some lunch, had a few drinks, and just explored the resort for a little bit. Went back up to the room, enjoyed a little bit of a cat nap, but Bianca fell asleep. She's actually still up in the room. I think she's done for the rest of the night because of the time difference. So I thought, let me come back downstairs. It's a little windy. Just walk around the resort, kind of get a feel for things. I know what this place is. This is Rainbow Reef, which I cannot wait to do tomorrow. It's like a snorkeling activity and you get to swim with some tropical fish. Look at the yellow tang. Yeah, I'm gonna be in here for hours tomorrow. Well, if they let me. It is very windy this evening, but it looks like I'm a little late to the party to pick up some Mickey Shave Ice. They're only open from 11 a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. So we'll definitely be hitting this tomorrow. By the way, our room is just right up here, right there. And here's a quick look at the pool here. This resort has a massive pool area with water slides and a lazy river and this pool has a zero entry something i've been noticing because i know we're very close to japan everything here is in english and japanese i thought that was pretty neat to see like even the health and safety reminders everything english and japanese and here is alani's private beach area plenty of lounge chairs plenty of privacy it's actually not too crowded this is lovely Oh, did you guys see that? That's how windy it is right now. I never knew this, but look how close the Four Seasons Resort is to Alani. They're right next to each other. Passing by Ulu Cafe, which is basically a really nice quick service location. This is where we had lunch here at Off the Hook. We actually sat right there and we had a view of the ocean. Unfortunately, at the time of this recording, Ama Ama has yet to reopen because of the pandemic. Hey, look, there's Stitch. Ooh, we have a live performer. Let's go hear some music. Song for the people of Fulu and her guardian queen shark, Kaulufaho. Once again, mahalo everybody for allowing me this time to share the story with you of Ulu Papa Ine. Once again, I am Uncle Eric. Enjoy your stay here in Aglani. I'll be right back later on in the evening to share more stories with you of Ulu Papa Ine. Take care, have fun, aloha. I really enjoyed that. I got to hear live music plus a live story. That was awesome. Just to give you guys a quick idea to how big this resort is because there's so much to do here. 
It's a good size resort. I made it back inside of the main lobby and I just wanted to point out once again because I think this is so cool and so unique how the two towers are divided by male and female because of their culture. We can see some artwork up here and it's two women. And then over here, you have two guys. Let's go ahead and check out the gift shop. This may be dangerous because I already see a ton of merchandise that I want. Look at that shirt, Alani 2021. There's so much Olu merchandise in here. He's so cute. Look at that button up. I like it. Dang, he has another button up for $55. He's just so cool. Also, look at Duffy. He is definitely in vacation mode right now. He's $40. There's also some keychains. There's Shelly Mae. You can also find some more keychains. She's cute. Check out these exclusive Minnie Mouse ears. I like those. Here's another pair. Here's another. And I like all of these with the flowers on top with a hidden Mickey inside. This is the pair Bianca got with the shave ice. I do really like this spirit jersey with Hawaiian Mickey on there, Aloha. And then on the back, I really like how it has the Hawaiian Islands on the back. There's also a Christmas ornament, a few keychains, a magnet. Here's a hat. That's cool. And a photo frame. Here's some Alani t-shirts. This one is $40. Here's another one. I do like this long sleeve. That one's really nice. I like these coffee mugs. Mickey and Duffy and friends. Paradise vibes. Alani. That one's cool. This tank top is pretty cool. That one is $35. I love all of the Manahune merchandise they have. I think I may get this long sleeve shirt. And then I believe they have a hat. Aloha, Alani. Wow, wow, wow. They even have Gelatoni. That's one of my favorite Duffy and Friends characters. They have beer and wine. How much is the beer? six dollars so yeah it's a little more affordable here than at walt disney world here's some soda 2.99 for a sprite water i don't see a price on the water they have lunchables and over here they have like cereal bread ketchup and peanut butter rice donuts if you forget anything or if you have any kind of emergency they have you covered they have chips and salsa beef jerky Ooh, and over here they have those Mickey cookies from Alani. I like the luggage options they have. I like that one. And then over here, they have Duffy and Friends. Aloha, sunny days. Check out the Alani pins. You have Mickey and Minnie. That one's nice. Both of them overlooking the water. Then down here you have the Alani logo. This one says Hawaiian holiday. This one looks like Donald and Mickey and Rainbow Reef snorkeling. I may have to get a few of these. They have the Alani wishables here. They have Alani phone cases. They have everything in here. You can find some more alcohol behind the cash register if you need it. Here's some Alani 2021 merchandise. Here's a lady shirt a hat, and Mickey ears. And lastly, for $75, they have this really cool Alani throw that you can take home. Okay, I have now left the gift shop. I am now here inside of the main lobby, and I love the artwork here of all the different Hawaiian culture. And this is where you first enter the resort via the front entrance. I love this. I wish I could get a Alani tour just so I can learn everything about this resort because there's so much 
Another thing that I really appreciate about this resort is they have most of the doors completely open. That way you can take in the beautiful, fresh Hawaiian air and that's from the main lobby. And then you turn around and you get this breathtaking view of the resort. The sun is starting to go down. Oh man, this place is paradise. There's the ocean right back there. And then our room, I believe just right over here in this area. I spy a few hidden Mickeys. Do you guys see them? I was just taking pictures of the main lobby and I noticed the floor just lit up. But then of course I turned on my camera and it disappeared. Like I said a little earlier, you will first enter the resort right here and then you'll walk in and then make a right, walk down just a little bit and this is where you'll come check in, or if you have any questions, this is where you'll come. When mom and dad are checking in, you can place the little ones in this waiting area, and they can watch some Disney cartoons. You can find a Chase ATM inside of the main lobby as well. I like the wallpaper they have throughout this resort. I believe this is a Hidden Mickey, and then Maui's Hook, and the Hawaii State Fish right there. Look at the Manahune up there on the elevator. Just watching. He's sleeping, but he's watching. I made it back up to the room as the sun is starting to go down. And look at this view. It is just breathtaking. It is so beautiful. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call it an early evening just because today was travel day. All right, my friends, that's gonna do it for today's video. Bianca is knocked out, so I think I'm gonna go join her because I'm just so tired because it is a six hour time difference from Orlando to here. So we're very behind on sleep and time, so we're gonna get some rest and uh, wake up refreshed and ready for another fun day. We have a lot going on tomorrow, a lot to do. I just still can't believe I'm here at Alani. Growing up, I always wanted to come here and visit, but I never thought I would get the chance just because how far Hawaii is and how expensive it is to stay here at Alani. And God is good. This is just a huge blessing, and I'm just so grateful to be here right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out. I am feeling lonely. And I want to make it start to end the right Fading it too slowly Where those can lift me up this time You were the only One who got me tripping up inside All the words you told me